In this video, we are going to see how we can use a double number line as an alternative for finding an equivalent ratio. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video is how can we use a double number line to find equivalent ratios? We have many strategies for finding equivalent ratios. The double number line is just one of the many strategies. If this strategy makes the most sense to you, feel free to use it whenever we need to find an equivalent ratio. To demonstrate the double number line method, we're going to use an example. So on field trips, there must be a student to adult ratio of 12 to 1. How many adults must there be if 60 students are on the field trip? As we set up the double number line, Let's see what we know. We know we are talking about students and adults in our ratio, and we know that the base ratio or the starting ratio is 12 to 1. Because of the way this was written, we know that the 12 represents our students and our 1 represents the number of adults. Lastly, we know that in this situation, there are 60 students attending the field trip, and it's our job to find out the number of the adults. Here I have started our setup for our double number line. Notice that the end of these lines have little arrows. It's because this could go on forever, and I could use this to scale up infinitely, right? If I need to figure out any value with an equivalent ratio for my 12 to 1. With my number lines, I'm going to assign one number line to be the numbers that represent the number of students. My other number line will represent the number of adults. Remember our initial ratio was 12 to 1, and the 12 represented students. So I'm going to go ahead and put 12 as my starting point for the number of students and 1 as my starting point for the number of adults. From here, I'm going to put lines on my number line that are equal distance that match up on both of my number lines, both parts of my double number line. Each line will represent my ratio as I scale it upwards. At this point, I can use my number line to mark off the intervals as I count my ratio upwards. So the students, I'm going to start with 12, and each equal distance marking represents another group of 12 students. So this would be 24, plus another 12 would make 36, another 12 would be 48, and another 12 would be 60. I could continue on, but I remember that in my initial question, I was trying to figure out how many adults there would be if there are 60 students. So here I am at the number that I'm searching for, my 60. At this point now, I can go to the number line that represents adults, and I can do a similar thing, right? So I had one adult initially. I'm going to be counting by ones now as I work my way up the number line. So this would be it. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus another, plus another, and plus one more. At this point, my number line is matched up under 60. My goal was to figure out how many adults there would be with 60 students. And I can see on my double number line that when there are 60 students, there need to be five adults. And that's it. That's how we use a double number line to figure out a scaled or equivalent ratio. Take a moment and we'll try setting up a dub, another double number line for the following situation. I'll present the situation to you. I want you to try to set up the number line as a strategy, just so you can practice that strategy. Right? Even if there are other strategies you prefer, I just want you to be familiar with this particular setup. You'll be able to pause the video and we'll check in and see how you did. So here's our situation. At the zoo, the ratio of monkeys to chimpanzees is 3 to 2. If there are 21 monkeys, how many chimpanzees are at the zoo? So take a moment to really read over the situation carefully so you know which number refers to which species of animal and set up the double number line the way that you believe it should be set up 
to solve this problem. And then go ahead and fill it all the way through until you have a representation of your answer. I'll pause the video and pause the video please. Um, and then you'll be able to check and see how you did. How'd you do? I have my double number line set up and it clearly shows me that if I count by threes all the way up to 21 monkeys, it matches up on my other double, other half of my double number line, excuse me, with 14 chimpanzees. So I can see visually here that there are 14 chimpanzees at the zoo if there are 21 monkeys. So the purpose of this video, the essential question, was just to show you another strategy for how you might look for equivalent ratios. This one is called a double number line strategy.